Without asking you the question of uh, how you've become the president of the Press Gallery, what, what, was this a bloody coup uh, where you took over from David Spears? Well, you're right, Richard. Um, the, we felt that the gallery needed a new style of leadership. None of these simplistic questions that Spears goes on about in this little torture chamber here where he just <laughs> catches you out. We felt it was time for some... You know, move beyond that. And, Sophistication. Uh, photography is a big part of these rules. I, I stepped up. Yeah, it, it had to be done. And who's the well, easiest uh, person to being... photograph in, the, in Canberra? Oh, well, by far our favourite is probably you, Leader of the House. I mean... It's a debating ah. chamber and reaction shots are a big part of that. I did a bit of research before I came on. We have over 2,400 photographs of you in our library and I'm sorry to say this, Richard, oh, you're a goodness. long way behind sitting there on 240. I think you need to do a few more jogs with the uh, Leader of the Opposition to up your count. We might turn them into... We could you turn them into wallpaper and the pop them on Richard's bedroom wall. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what... No, no, no. I don't know, I'm speechless at the idea that you've got 2,500 <laughs> images of Christopher. Anyway, uh, it's been great to have you on, Andrew, um, and it is, it is uh, nice to hear a different side of how politics is viewed. Um, we, we're all fans of your photography and hopefully we can get you on again. Thank you. Thank you for tolerating our presence in the gallery with our big lenses. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Um, so that brings us to the uh, question of the week. And